Hello everyone today we are going to see how to cast the reinforced concrete beams of two reinforced concrete beams okay you can see here this is the beam of size 1.5 meter length and height one beam of height is to 15 cm and another beam of size is and 5 meter length of two reinforced concrete beams and here we are going to see waste mud oil is going to be applied for easy removal of form work and you can see here we are placing the concrete uh, okay. we are placing the briquettes before placing the reinforced concrete beam in order to to below the reinf uh, the reinforcement has should not be vis visible and concrete matter should be substituted concrete blocks that is briquettes have been placed and this is the reinforcement we have provided 8 mm rocks of stirrups also 8 mm of the of distinguished spacing and uh, here um, it is necessary to know the mix proportions so the minimum proportion of water is necessary to hydrate the cement completely to create the concrete workable to be placed in position some more one is 15 cm height another one is 23 cm and you can see here the mix proportion has been used in this casting of reinforced concrete beam is one is to 1.5 is to 3.3 and here we have used uh, for 1 meter cube of concreting trial mix we have adopted by mixing cement water coarse aggregate fine aggregate and chemical admixture in So here the cement content that should be taken for one meter cube of concrete is 360 kg per meter cube. Water is 162 kg per meter cube. Fine aggregate 707.43 kg per meter cube. Coarse aggregate one coarse aggregate 1818.18 kg per meter cube. And the chemical admixture is added 2.52 um, liter. 2.52. Liter, milliliters. Okay, you the chemical admixture is master polyheat eight one four one has been used in order to enhance the properties of this reinforced concrete beam of size one point five meter length. So you can see here this is a homogeneous mix we are adopting by mixing the coarse aggregate, fine aggregate, cement, and and slowly the water is going to be added to get the homogeneous mixture. so long as the concrete is sufficiently workable for the way of placing use its strength depends on proportion of water to the cement in the mix the water cement ratio so you can see the chemical mix chemical admixture has been added the water cement ratio should be allowed to exceed the specified limits for various types of concrete should usually be kept as low as the methods of placing will allow Abrahams as the result of large number of experiments states that with given materials condition of this test test the ratio of the quantity of mixing water into the quantity of cement alone determine the potency of concrete as long as the mix is of workable plasticity this is known as water cement law according to this law the strength of concrete won't increase by simply increasing the quantity of cement unless the required or desired cement water cement ratio is reduced so this is how we are going to adopt so different water cement ratios ratios has been utilized so now you can see here the concrete mix is going to be poured in the beams for 1.5 meter length of beams for high quality concrete construction lower water cement ratio 0.4 could be employed the concrete construction like sidewalk and drive water cement ratio ranging from 0.6 to 0.7 is normally used so here the vibration is going to be done with the vibrator for uniform homogeneous spreading uh, uh, of the concrete mixture into the beam the practical range of water cement ratio ranges from 0.3 to 0.8 so with the help of towel we need to finish the top surface of this reinforced concrete beam which gives the uniform surface and we are measuring the gauge at each section
to get the perfect shape of the beam of height 15 cm and 23 cm of length of two beams 1.5 meter so you can see here with the help of that uh, pipe we are uh, going to measure the gauge length at each section with the help of towel we are finishing the top surface of the beam and this is another beam of size 15 cm height 1.5 meter simultaneously the vibrator is going to be placed while with the help of vibrator machine the homogeneous mixture is going to be there the practical range of water cement ratio ranges from 0.3 to 0.8 and use weak and stiff concrete respectively weak concrete means a fairly wet concrete the general concrete strength is reduced with an increase in water cement ratio the addition of more water due to dilute phase which has more to pour at the micro level this makes the concrete weak and results in shrinkage cracks and issues the cement and aggregates particles takes, takes the excess water that present in concrete okay so this you can see here, the two beams has been ready and they can kept for 28 days of curing. After 24 hours, after drying with the help of gunny bags, they have been covered in order to get curing, water curing. So this is the water curing for 28 days with the help of gunny bags. And after this, we are going to measure the flexural strength of these two beams in loading frames with the appropriate uh, by fixing uh, two point loading or three point loadings for these two reinforced concrete beams okay thank you in the part two we are going to describe the calculation part how to measure the flexural strength of the concrete beam thank you